Oh, hey Kay, here's an example of where you could use a weird answer, where anything works, in order to use a trick. Here's a trick. Start off by thinking of a number, any number. Then double it. Now add 24. Now divide your answer by 2. Then from the answer you now have, subtract away your original number. Now I'll give you a few minutes in order to work that out. You can probably stop it here if you want. Okay, now that you've come back, the answer that you have equals 12. Okay, how did I know that? Well, let's think of your original number. I don't know what it is, so I'll call it n. You might have said 8 or 5 or 16 or the square root of 95. If you doubled it, that would be 2n. If you add 24, that would be 2n plus 24. And if you divide that answer by 2, you get 2n plus 24, all divided by 2. And if you subtract your original number, subtracting your original number, which is n, that was your original number, let's see what you end up with. 2n plus 24 all over 2 minus n. Well, because of the bar here, I've got to divide 2 into both things. That gives me n plus 12. And if I subtract n, I have 1n take away 1n. They disappear. I just get 12. So no matter what number I worked with, the answer would always end up being 12. So anytime you get something where you know that any number works for it, then you could potentially make a trick or a rule out of it.